Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we are going to be talking all about the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Elephant Palette, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here, reviews, tutorials, rankings, favorites, stuff like that. And if you're returning, hi, hello. I hope you're doing amazing. And I just love, love, love you so much and let's get started okay so every year hourglass comes out with these palettes and I've never purchased one I don't know why I mean I guess this is the first purchase that I've ever made from hourglass cosmetics I've thought about purchasing stuff from them I mean I almost have a few times but I've never actually purchased anything so it's not really a brand that's been super on my radar but this year I decided to pick up the elephant palette and spoiler alert I am so so glad that I did we are gonna talk all about this <laughs> so this is the box that it comes in absolutely beautiful box I love the elephant was actually my favorite picture so you can go on their website and pick the color story that you want with the picture that you want they have the tigers and the butterflies and the elephants I went with the original elephant palette with the original elephant picture <laughs> um, and the art is just gorgeous I love I love it it says on here it says ambient lighting edit unlocked elephant this palette celebrates the highly intelligent and majestic elephant whose ability to thrive is essential in preserving our natural environment and creating a brighter future for our world. And I just think, I mean, I love the packaging. <laughs> I love the box that it comes in. And 5% of <laughs> the profits from Unlocked supports the Non-Human Rights Project. So, going to help animals, 5%, which is really cool. This is the tin. Looks like the box. And it's, oh my goodness. It, it is a tin. It's so, so pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. And then the product inside <laughs> is, I mean, equally as gorgeous. I, can, I cannot believe I have never used these. I, I finally understand what the hype is about. These powders, I cannot get over how flawless my face looks <laughs> the, these powders are so smooth wow i mean my gosh so i used every single one of these powders today on my face i really wanted to show you guys if you were considering the elephant palette um what it looks like i think this it was but for me it was between the elephant or the butterfly palette and I went with the elephant palette because it has a bronzer the ele uh, the butterfly palette does not have a bronzer and I think that if you've never made a purchase from hourglass before if this is your very first holiday palette the elephant palette is a is the way to go because it has two older um, not new shades. They're, uh, they're ambient lighting powders, two ambient lighting powders, a highlighter, a bronzer, and then the two blushes. So it gives you a really good range to try if you've never tried Hourglass products before. So first I did go in with the bronzing powder. The bronzing powder. <laughs> This is the Ambient Bronzing Powder in the shade Lustrous Bronze Light. It's caught, it's a bronze heat shade. It is, I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful shade of bronzer for the face. It's a really good neutral brown, not too warm, not too red, not too orange. The powder blended so smoothly. It's just, it, it was really very, very good. Um, it is a new shade in the Hourglass line. Then I went ahead and went in with the Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. And this is a neutral beige. And I went ahead and set my bar side, my right side, my under eye with that um, diffusing light powder and I 
I mean, I was just shocked <laughs> at how smooth it made my under eye. Now I did, uh, oh, and dim light is a neutral beige. So I went in with the other ambient lighting powder in the shade Soft Light, which is a pale peach. I used that on my other eye, but then, I mean, I don't really want those pale peachy tones underneath my eye. I really like the neutral shade for that. So I went ahead and set the rest of my face with that diffused ambient lighting powder in Soft Light. And that is what I would continue to use that powder for, just for the entire face, a really nice, diffused, beautiful <laughs> powder to set all over the face. And then I went ahead with the highlighter. This is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder. It is a new shade. It's a beaming strobe light in the shade Golden Sun. And it is a little bit darker then I would usually go with the highlight. I usually prefer more of a champagne color. It's a little bit more of a gold, but it still looks gorgeous. It's not super pigmented. These baked powders aren't extremely pigmented, so they can blend out, and I think it just it just melts into the skin and blends super well, so it doesn't look like a stripe. It's more of a diffused <laughs> um yeah a beaming strobe powder and it's so pretty and i mean i just love it it meshes into my blush really really well and i think it's gorgeous so that's the highlighter i went in first on my right side with the ambient lighting blush it's new in the shade iridescent coral right number yes so I went in with number five, <laughs> Iridescent Coral, this middle shade right here on my right side first. And it, I love this one. It's like a coral with kind of a, it's like that pinky gold shift, you know? That's the kind of color that it has. And it was so beautiful. I love, I love this blush. I then went in on the other side with my ambient, this ambient lighting blush in the shade Radiant Rose. It is a new shade as well, and it's more of a berry tone. It is really pink, more pink than what I usually pull for. So I went ahead after I applied it all alone on the, that side so you could see the color. I went ahead and just mixed my brush into both and then applied them on each cheek, which is probably how I would continue to use those blushes. Mixed together, I think they make the perfect pinky flush. And you can see on, on my face, I mean, I, I cannot believe the effect that these powders have. I cannot believe I have waited this long. <laughs> this palette retails for $85, and that is a steal for these powders. You can buy one of these powders for $40. So I think if you've never tried Hourglass before, if you've been waiting like me, if you're like, should I do it? This Elephant Palette is the way to try a bunch of their formulas um, and see if it's for you. Because I'm, oh my goodness, this is just, just amazing. <laughs> glowing glowing review i you know i wasn't sure what to expect but these are absolutely beautiful i cannot get over how airbrushed my face looks and i didn't use any creams i've been using creams like only no powders because i love that effect that the creams give and this is a little different than the cream effect but it's still so airbrushed <laughs> I absolutely oh my goodness did I did I say I love it already <laughs> okay so that is the ambient lighting edit unlocked elephant palette oh, I love it I keep looking at my face in the mirror excuse me while I gawk at my absolutely airbrushed skin <laughs> My YouTube friend over here, her name is Laurel Lux, and we actually just did a collaboration video. She went ahead and purchased all three palettes, so if you're curious about colors and um, 
what the swatches look like and stuff like that of the other palettes, I would recommend going and checking out her channel. Um, yeah, she bought all three. I mean, awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Super, super recommend it. Let me know down in the comments. Have you ever tried Hourglass products? Have you heard about these powders like me and never actually purchased them? Or do you love, love them? And I'm just so late to the game. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> and if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! great <laughs> it's so so pretty it makes me want to buy the other two palettes actually <laughs> um i probably won't do that i mean they're 85 dollars, but all right i mean i think that's it <laughs>